I have to go around. Let's drive. Looking glass refugee from the Isle of Phuket. She can make a blind man hard from five feet away. I'm Ailun. Hey. It's all of fun. Then give it to me. I can take it. Go ahead. Put them in. Yeah, sure. Order 707, you bring it. Understand? I'll be there for you. I never checked the girls. Never had to before. Buddhism killers cut to pieces. Where the wheel turns, the boy gnashes its teeth. Locus, you're so full of shit you could fertilize Nebraska. What are you saying to yourself, Durrell? Five, six, seven. You got more guns than girls in here, King. I'm very impressed. Came here without a gun. You wrote this. No argument. I only wish I could have got it to you sooner. Now give him to me. You understand. We had to do what we did. He'd made fools of us. Never paid. Yeah, I understand, King. You were just taking care of business. 
Your brother is yours again, Mr. Durrell. Give me a seven and seven. Buy yourself some chow, man. Oh, you okay? Mm -hmm. you sure? Yeah. Let's get the 5,000, Robbie. You owe me a Rolex, Lawrence. You're crazy. You're not gonna save me. Tonight I am, brother. Locus is outside in his cab. Get out, get in, go home. I'll see you there, okay? Come on. Can't save anything, Robbie. I had no choice. Being who you are, I could not do terrible harm to your brother. But I was forced to do something. So? He was very impolite. I gave you the money. So now there's one thing that bothers me. What is there that bothers you, Mr. Durrell? You cut his thumb off. And you show it to people. You brag about it. You keep it in that little box right here at this table. And I got to tell you, King, I want it back. You come here with no gun. With my kindness, you get your sick brother back. This thumb gives me much pleasure. More pleasure than the girl you hold. Don't insult me any more than you already have. No one cuts off my brother's thumb and uses it in a sideshow, King. You give it back, or I'll take it and you're with it. Next time I cut your brother up, I put him in soup and eat it myself. You broke the rules. <laughs> what do I get for that? No rules. <laughs> Yes. You always could count. Nice of you to show up, Jeanette. Oh, well, you know you always need help at the end. <laughs> Seven, I got a job offer for you. What job are you giving me? King Sooks. You clean up here, make them all disappear, it's all yours. You got a deal with me? Hey, don't touch that. I'm not a thief. You gotta have rules. How do you know what the rules are, white man? You don't know what they are. You gotta make them up. But you gotta have some. Jeanette, that was pretty fucking good. You know, I always cover you, no matter how crazy you get. What would you do without me? Sometimes you gotta do dark things to get to the light. Yeah. 
But when you stop crossing the line for your brother, maybe you'll have something. How am I ever gonna pay you back? We've been at the Stanford Hotel working part-time hookers. We get a call in from the Rigo. That's where we're headed right now. We make a bust, and you're clean. She were candy, she'd be French truffles. How much you figure? Um, about 500 an hour, a thousand for a world trip. Mm -hmm. I get it. And I'll buzz you when she makes the offer. Oh, let me cover. I'll do you a favor and cover myself, Jim. Oh, I have faith you can keep yourself to yourself. Oh, faith lasts a minute, Robbie. But vice lasts forever. I'll be at the bar. You page me. I'm Robbie. Sella. What am I risking talking to you? If you're a real man, everything. Aren't you afraid of what I might be? It's not what you are, but what you could be. That scares me. What's that? You could be everything a woman wants. What could be wrong with that? You could be the guy that takes away the rainbow, make a girl settle down, lose herself for a man. Five minutes. Don't lose your way. What's on your menu tonight? What menu? Well, everyone has a menu, a list of what they want. Me? Well, things that can't always be defined. <laughs> Poetic. But seeing as where you are handsome, why don't you get to being practical? All right. Do it. Go ahead. Time to get to a price. Ten thousand. That's a lot. I mean, you're really good looking. I wish I had that much money. I know. Hey, I would still like to get to know you. I just don't have that much money. Now you do. What's that? I want you. You're gonna give me ten thousand dollars? Yes. Yes. What? Three days. I want you to work for me. For three days, you help me. Do you know what I am? You're a vice cop, and a good one. I need you to find someone for me. And that's three days of pay. If it takes longer, I'll pay more. So who, uh, who are you working for? My husband just died nine months ago, and I just inherited the majority of his estate. Before he died, my stepdaughter disappeared, and now I want to give her the inheritance he left her. What do you need me for? Because I found out she was working strip clubs here in this city under another name. And you do know strip clubs. Yeah, all, all 87 of them. But how did you find out about me? I found out what I want, and I get the best to work for me. How do you do that? I'm best in things, and people are things. Whether they know it or not. You know, this isn't, uh... This isn't real straight for me as a vice cop. It's not black or white, though. It's gray. That's the color of most people and things. Two hours. Or do you want to start now? If I take the job, I'll be back in two hours. You don't believe I'm even thinking about this. We're about to see what you believe. And what you could believe. It didn't page. 
didn't have to. Did she make you an offer? Big one. Offer was for me. It's hiring me three days prior. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now, you're not a bad looking guy, but the woman's got to pay to get a man. No, it's a job she's talking about. She wants me to find her stepdaughter. Isn't that a little strange? Yeah, well, uh, kind of need the money, Jeanette. Lawrence's gambling debts, you know? But it's been a very wild day. What I'd like to do is go home and just think about it for a while. You're gonna do the job. Yeah, because you like the colors that come out of one of those kind of jobs. So go on, get out of here, you know? I'll check you later. All right, and don't do your best. And why is that? Because that's when you're most dangerous to yourself. Uncle Jack. Uh, I'm Jim. This is Joe. Your Uncle Jack's upstairs relaxing while your brother here is entertaining us with stories about your childhood. Now, Lawrence and Robbie escaped from the dark world. Oh, it's a beautiful story. I mean, if you like beautiful stories. What well, are you guys, a dance team? You got a regular job. Uh, actually, Mr. Durrell, we're in the doorbell business. Yeah, we ring them, you know? Put the finger on the button and wait for the buzzer to go off. Are we gonna talk tough or get tough? What kind of game are you boys playing? Well, we came by two days ago to ring your brother's bell, Mr. Durrell. Look up Lawrence, who it seems can't pick up a phone and dial. I was gonna invite him to a Chinese funeral, but I uh, couldn't find a quarter. Can't get change for a buck to drop a quarter, the guy. Well, your uncle is a very nice guy. Very sensitive. Yeah. He understands why we're here. And we understand who you are. Straightest guy in vice. Which is probably still as straight as a road in the Andes. <laughs> I like that yeah, about you, great. great. Yeah, we just wanted him to hear the doorbell. That's it. And being who you are, Lawrence gets uh, come on, man, what's the what's uh, word? Uh, uh, dispensation. Dispensations? Kind of like being friends with the Pope. Even though the Pope watches over you, you got to go to church, Lawrence. Brother's got a fast pulse, Robbie. 10,000 Hail Marys fills the tray. I usually run into guys like this in a kennel. <laughs> he cracks me up. He talks just like... He's <laughs> uh, like no other. Huh? No. <laughs> Maybe I should uh, change Joe's hat size. How about yours? Brother's gone too far. Eh? You have to go far to know how far you can go. Or how about mine? I do myself, huh? How about you? Or you or me? You. All right, listen. I'm gonna whisper an answer. Jim and Joe, back out the back door. I still have that pickup to do. This is shiny blue convertible. You get in the back seat. When I come out, I'll take you to confession and your ten thousand Hail Marys. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 yourself. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lawrence. You like my style, Robbie? Lawrence. Going, didn't I? I really had him going. <laughs> no lines, bullshit with poetry. It'd be Shakespeare. Brother, dreamer, lone friend to the lost son of our lost father. Here we are, another shipwreck. Lawrence, whisper me some answers. I live to enlighten you. How'd you lose ten grand? Well, I dropped a couple of quarters, talked to a few guys, and Made a bet on a lefty with a right hook. Lawrence, one of these days you're gonna get me killed. 
I'm the only reason you stay alive. You know, we're not gonna keep getting away with this. Kingdom of memory and dreams. That's the place I always taught you to go to. I hope the music you play follows me to the next world. What the hell are you talking about? Everything. The bastard everything. You know, when I had that gun in my head, I couldn't help but think, we don't look like brothers. Well, brother, there are seven dead Chinamen because I thought you should have this. Shouldn't have, Robbie. I can still feel my thumb. The way you and me can always feel each other. There's two mailmen downstairs. You brought the trouble home, Lawrence. I brought the trouble home. You're the one who put seven Chinamen in a box. Yeah, well, I guess we better not order takeout for a while. <laughs> you better warn Uncle Jack about that. You know, Lawrence, because of you and me, what does that old prick have left? He's got us. A couple of beautiful blue dogs. Your paintings never made any sense, Lawrence. That's the one great thing about our darkness, Robbie. back in three days and everything will be straight. There's never any normal for us, Robbie. Nothing is ever straight with us, brother. Mm. Uncle Jack. Mm. Mm. You okay? Those two guys you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said they wanted to ask you a few questions. Yeah, he did it again. He set the clock on the bomb and then disappeared from having anything to do with it. <laughs> you, you two guys are so cute. You showed up at my door like a pair of wet kittens. <laughs> I could never get rid of you. There's only going to be one of us left if he doesn't stop getting in trouble, Uncle Jack. Oh, don't let me kill you, Robbie. I had a brother who got lost the same way. Your, 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 your father fell right off the edge of the world. And then, then I got you two. Yeah. Got to be a way to stop him. Got to be a reason. No, but, but that's the secret. There is no rhyme and there is no reason. The lady shows up, you take the envelope, tiptoe away like a couple of kittens, right? From your hands to our hands to their hands with no problem. And thank you very much, Mr. Terrell. Very nice of you. Seat and they'll find the bus that waits for See you around, Mr. Durrell. We're always around. I'm not going to ask about those two crows who took your money. I've got a brother who burns the stuff. There's two types of people in the world invalids and nurses. Hey, you got a picture of your stepdaughter? Your 
your eyes are two different colors, aren't they? Yes. Ten thousand bucks, you could have found it for a lot less. Time is really important to me. Wasting it for me is a vice. She's in town, I can find her in three days. I'm banking on it. What are you gonna do when you find her? What I always do, go about my business. This is where the poet lives. The poet? He's got an IQ of 165. But he's addicted to strip clubs. Tomas, come out. It's me, Robbie Durrell. Oh, the charming Mr. Durrell. Tomas, this is my friend, Sella. Sella Tomas, the poet. I live here to save on rent, uh, and also because my mother's mind is slipping. How can you tell? Oh, well, she um, gives me my allowance every five days instead of every seven. You must be rich. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. It just enables me to. Uh, Take cabs instead of buses. Tomas knows every club in town and probably every good girl in town. Thank you. I suppose I am the encyclopedist of an unusual subculture. This is a picture from high school. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, that, that, that is. Yes, this is wonderful. Yeah, this is, this is delightful. Hmm. You know, it's photographs like this that, that just raise the libidinous nature beyond all endurance. Recognize it, Tomas? Oh, the lips. Yes. The lips, yeah. A name, a name. Can you give us a name, like Tomas? The neck, like the, like the, like the, like the flight of a beautiful crane, like the, the skin. Tone is like a peach, and sort of the breath, the freckles around the breasts. Are Tomas, please. Kind of. Come on, Tomas. Where does she ride the wood? Please. Four, five. Five? Five places that I know of. She does a circuit, you know. Why is that? Uh, well, she's a special. And what's a special? She has a certain style, a way about her. They don't want to wear it out in one place. Yeah, it's kind of like a, um, like a spice combination of sex, innocence, wantonness, kind of begs you to follow her around like a comet soaring through the sky, kind of, you know, the sight of her fr flickering past is not reducible to words in any way, Tomas, so I don't... there's a hundred bucks in it for you if you just cut it short and give us a list, okay, Tomas? <laughs> How can I cut it short? <laughs> when, 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 when thinking causes me to stop and ponder the putrefaction of my own existence. <laughs> the beauty of Please, it. Tomas, don't make me break your fingers. The ones you write with, okay? Mm. What did you, how much did you say, a hundred? Exactly, a hundred dollars, yes. Okay. Upon delivery. It's a standard procedure. It's, you know, it comes from downtown. Okay, okay. Okay, but I'll run it up and give it to your mom, okay? No, 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 no. Give it to me. Well. Okay, no, no, no. All right, okay. okay. Can I keep this? 
No, I want him back. Wild, wild girls. Thank you, Tomas. Hey, Robbie. Bye. Bye. She's with me. Jocko, got a prom picture for you to look at. Know her name? She's been a brunette in the twins' hat. Where are they hanging their spurs? Just full of the blood. Tell us apart? Yeah, you're Sheila, this is Sherry. Right. You here to bust us? No. What is this? Shut up! Do it, you toes! No one's gonna mistreat you, scum face! That's our job! Uh, ladies, I need a little help. Why well, have a little when we can give you a lot? Who's your friend? Sella. Sheila and Sherry. Hi, Sella. Are you a trick or you a treat? I'm not sure. A trick is a working girl. A treat is someone who does it for free. She's neither. I'm working for her. You want to work a little with us? Both of you? What's going on? I got ten more minutes here. Did she, isn't she? I heard you have a little brunette working in your act named Billy. She was. She's not a real actress. Why not? If you want to be a real actress, you got to show up on time. You got to really believe in yourself. We do. We're not really twins. We just look alike, think alike, do it all alike. Look. Whip me or leave me. This is my matinee here. Sister, give the little bitch five. I'll help out her friends. <laughs> Sheila, this girl, Billy. You know where I can find her? I even have a key. Two hundred dollars. It's yours. She's at the cathedral. You sure I'll find her there? The shackles on her myself. Come again. First five strokes will be free. Thank you. Sella, you don't have to come in here. You've made me want to see everything. Prince of Vice. Arthur. You rise, Arthur, you rise. Y you're too smart to be so dumb. Your mother know you're working here. You got a big surprise waiting for you. you. Cripples. E everywhere. This place is the bottom of the bottom. Not my stepdaughter. What are you guys doing here? We see your brother walking down the street, so we congratulate him on the ten thousand he put into the trip straight. Yeah, yes, it's for a lift. We gave it to him, and now we're here for the show. Mmm. You look like you don't like. It. I've never seen you boys before today, and now I find you everywhere. We got away. What's that? We pop up. Cute. Where'd you get the bird, Lawrence? He landed on my finger in the park, and I put my thumb in his claws. How much did you pay for me this time, brother? I didn't. The lady I'm working for did. You're Durrell. You don't work for anyone. Easy. Hey, listen, Lawrence, if I wasn't working, I'd take you home myself, so, uh... You'd have to find it first, Robbie. Us Durrells, we don't have a home. We must count the time we've been wandering in hell. What brought you here, Robbie? What are you and your boyfriend really looking for? He's looking for the other orphan who was chained here. <laughs> I took her to China once. You know where she is? Hyped to hide. 
The guy who took her chained me here so that you could retrieve me before I got any trouble. Give it to me, Lawrence. <laughs> it's great, huh? You came to save me, and I'm saving you. Came a limousine man, Caviar, is uh, taking her for a ride. Lawrence, you stay planted. I'll come back. You have a colorful family. You want to wait for me right here? To take down. There's four guys who walked in with Arthur at the door. What's going to happen? These are hard types. It's going to go hard. It's your brother, isn't it? You're afraid. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes open. I'd like to take your head off, blue boy. Now, everyone, get this straight. All your money on the tables now! <laughs> Both hands on the table. He doesn't have another arm. Would you say Big Mouth? He's crippled. Only, uh, I'm a rich cripple. Pick it up, you asshole. I gave it to you, you pick it up. I don't think so. Mister, you can't kill that man. Shut up! You see, he owes people a lot of money. God does love me. Then give me your money, dark boys. Sure. Here, I think I got some change right here. I'm right with you. Turn safety again. I never saw blood like that. All right, listen to me. I want you to take this card. Call Jeanette to bring a mop, you understand? Yeah, Janet. Great, great, great. You know what they say? You don't have a head, you don't need a hat. Put that goddamn thing away and get one of the nuns to take you home, Lawrence. So you're going to be a great Irish magician. Hmm? They call this disappear. A real Durrell. Make all the bad things go away. Just shut your fucking mouth and get out of here. What are you going to do with him? He's going to get him burial at sea. Anybody going to miss him? Oh, there's nobody. What about him? Nothing, nobody. We're all getting dumped in a lime pit, Julie. This is all going to be a bad dream. Right, right. You're the doctor. Is this all the wife? It's half a million dollars, pal. This is your new gate. Oh, shit! Now why you going straight? You ever, ever try running something out of here again, Fuck. Julie, and I'll take you down, and I won't mess up like these guys. Look, I owe you, I know. But that's a fucking half a million dollars there. Think of it like religion. You don't take to it. I'm going to take you. You won't have to. You won't have to. Shit. That was quick. Ah, uh, our hands were a little messy. I was right across the street with the stewardess, you know? We were flying a little fast in between planes. Jeanette, I got six dead bodies. Four of them deserve it. It was the takedown. 
I wrote on two, these guys wrote on one. And you did the other one. It was my first time. You know how I'm working. I can't badge this. Nothing's been badged in here for nine years. I'll get them out. There's a little place in the country, you know. That law disappear. Hey, you know, maybe you should bring Jim and Joe there with you. You know, to help you out. Maybe they'll tell a few jokes on the way. Yeah, we love to drive around back seats. I feel like we're starring in a dirty movie. After you get done, give me your quarter, drop them in a bus stop. Well, that won't be hard to do. I'll give you the 50 cents back later when I'm trying to pay you back for all that you've done for me. I don't think you'll ever do that. Ooh. Hey, don't the three of us look good together? Mm. Okay. All right, come on, let's go. Just gotta clean up. Got some work to do. Oh, you had a gun. No woman's going to tell you everything. Besides, having a gun is invalid. Using it is. Can we stop being so rough for a little while? Go back to my hotel. Clean the bed up. Sorry. I got some pumps. It's my first time, and I'll never forget. You have to tell me why you went such a long way for him. He's my brother. It's blood on blood. As a cop, how do you handle it? Oh, when it's your brother, sometimes you have to look the other way. You would do anything for the people you love. For blood. Reloaded. Like you're ready to start all over again. I feel like I can do anything. Why is that? Because you can do anything, Robbie. We can make anything happen. Together. Come on, Stella. You're moving really fast. You're a cop. Give me a ticket. You're making my big toe bounce in my boot. I can't touch you. He's the only one who can touch you. I wish it was different. He's blood. I can't do it any other way. We have to do this. We have to lose this way. I can't give anyone anything, Sarah. Yes, you can. You give your brother everything you have. Your money, your heart, your soul. You never stop giving. It doesn't work. Robbie, give me something I need. Just like you, I'm looking for someone who doesn't want to be found. Yeah. Give me this, Robbie. Tell me who I am. I feel like nothing right now. I feel everything in the world. But I still feel like nothing. I know that feeling. I feel like that every day. You know, it's like... You keep throwing yourself at people. You never find anyone to love. Maybe there's one thing we can find. Maybe we can find each other. It's like by trying to save people, I'm gonna end up killing myself. We didn't go all the way, but somehow you went further than any man. Was wild. Perfect. I feel like I'm part of the ocean. Like nothing. Nothing that has ever mattered to me should matter. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? 
Funny. Crazy. I'll never understand my brother Lawrence. How he can care about nothing. You can never be like that. If you care about nothing, then you are nothing. It makes you tired, Robbie. It makes you really tired. You know, he tells me that I'm the addict. He's my addiction and I can't help myself. You can't give up. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to do this and then give up. After we take care of them, then you and I can go the rest of the way. I came here to find my stepdaughter and Robbie. What I found was a little bit of you inside of me. And I bet if you look, there's a little bit of me inside. After this, we get clean. So who's Cavalieri? A pimp? It's kind of an impresario. It's on a new show every Friday night. It's hard to believe they come up here. That's his limo right there. So this is where the rich come to get wild. So this is where the wild gets really wild. I hope you're not mad the way I left your brother for you. I'm just happy to get him back. I'd invite you in, but you see, a little festival's been prepared here. Yeah, choreography and all, I bet. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, things start on stage, things start here in the car, you know? A double feature. I don't mean to offend you, but, uh, you see, since they stopped drinking and abusing drugs, this is my only real pleasure. That little girl you uh, unchained at La Cathedral, is she here tonight? <laughs> She's moved herself up in the world, working as live cash for Helmut Wicks. You know, showing herself off things changed to the world. Yeah, I've met Wicks. I can't say it was a pleasure. Well, then, you know, some people go in there in cars and come out in cigar boxes. <laughs> hey, stop that. Come on, I can't hear myself talk, you know what I'm saying? These girls, you know, they spend a fortune on batteries. You know where we can find them? Which place is uh, off the map? I can't tell you where to find them. You know somebody who could? Sherry? Sheila. You know, one day I'm gonna have to whip you, Robbie. And you too, Sala. Where's Billy? She's got one of my whips in her hand right now. I still owe you for the key deposit. I'd be happy to take you there. You got Sheila, but just so she's back by midnight. You know, too bad you can't stay for the show. The headlight's about to come on. I have a feeling there'll be plenty of entertainment where we're going. You never get enough. <laughs> hey. What is she doing? Get ready for work. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's gonna take the horse for a ride. And they pay to watch? 
thousand dollars a space every Friday. You want to stay? Nope. I want to see how dangerous this can really get. myself an hour ago. All right. Good enough for me. It was good for her too, sweetheart. This place looks like it could be a Smith & Wesson waltz if the guns start dancing. Follow my lead, okay? Music's already started, Robbie. I want your two guns and whatever piece the princess here is carrying on the track. Which knows we're coming? He just doesn't like uninvited guests. Caballeri gave us up? Only because he got a lot of money. He wanted me to tell you, though. You're his favorite vice cop. Up the stairs. Oh, I can't wait for the torture to begin. Before we go in there, tell me. Please, can you take me, Robbie? I can take you, son. Can you take what I've been, what I've become? So, I can feel your breath in mine. mechanically inclined, I prefer rips to guns. <clears throat> but somehow my mom obeyed me so much better when I used this. Alfredo, put their guns here. Shima, go back to Cavalier and the animals, all right? Don't worry, I won't look in your glove compartment. Here, Elmet. Told you it would come. Oh, yes. But I don't care about that. I just renew old acquaintances. The last time I saw you, Wix was in an alley. You were up the dress of a 14-year-old boy uninvited. Oh! <laughs> uh, you know, I know some society people who would pay you for a nice, efficient beating, like the one you gave me that night. Oh! I'll trade you a nifty little session of uh, soft discipline for that beretta in your hand. I will pay you, Elmet. I will kill her. Let me kill her. That would be like killing yourself, Billy. I don't wear a mask like you do. No one does. Shut up, little slut. This is art, you understand? <laughs> I'd like to take a, a family portrait. Please. Please, Billy, listen to Mother. Feel this. Feel this. You know, I own a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> it's so nice to be able to serve a beautiful people. Play. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Robert, oh. Let me photograph you. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. That's a what? lovely idea. I'll do it. Oh, by the way, you know you can take a picture of me as I execute you, right? Oh, that's no, that. Give, give me reality. Come on. Tag me. Tag me. Tag me. Over. Over. Here. In a profile. Look here. Beauty. 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 You love this. You love this. It's real. It's happening. It's now. It's you. It's you. Put down the gun. No, put down the gun. <laughs> Only kidding. Okay. Okay. Give me some energy. You're sleeping. You're sleeping, aren't you? Come on. Come on. Pump it up, baby. All right. You know, I'm sure Cavalieri and his bunch would be. would flop on the photo exhibit. I think they're more of a theater crowd, Elman. You know, I hate having my work interrupted by a $700 a week hireling playing Halloween with some iron bitch. 
man's got to make a living, you know. What have I done to offend you, Billy? What haven't you done? We missed you at the funeral, dear. It was a close coffin. Very tasteful. Yeah. Did you find all the pieces of my father? I picked up everything. I always pick up after my son. She might be nothing, but a cold core slut. But right now, here, she's my mortal. And nobody, nowhere, nowhere fucking steps on my vision. Somebody already got to him. How many people are you gonna break into pieces? Why be a bad girl, Billy? I'll be what I have to be. I'll do what I have to do to stay away from you. I bought you those red slippers. You ran away in those red slippers. You still wear those red slippers. You could never run away from me. Hey, you little bitch. Hey. Man at his best is nothing but a successful animal, Wix. Hey, that's a uh, gut there, right? No, a fallen air. Oh, fuck. I'm the best interesting one. You can see him! your mother you like to act like me you like to dress like me you liked everything like me so there was nothing left of me i have to help you my little sister let me feed you crazier than i let's do it now let's kill the little horse together You know the killer. She's not a liar. woman. Liar, sick liar. She's not a woman. She's not anything. Liar, liar, sick liar. Everything will be all right. Just stay with me. You know what she was when she met my father. Everybody's got a past. Liar, liar. She was a man. She is a man. She got my father. She made him pay for her to change, and then she married him. And just like you, like everybody, he gave her everything. He gave her soul. You're just a lion junkie. It was easy when she took his life. Easy because there was nothing left. She was in charge. She was the man. Always. You're lying. She still is. Get in. Get in. This is my world. She gets you, believe me. She gets everybody. Keep her on ice, Locus. Call Jeanette for me. So. This is what you said you wanted. I changed, and I forgot to tell you. What she said about you, that's too crazy, right? Right? When you kissed me, Robbie, it was with your soul, not your lips. Your eyes are two different colors. God couldn't make up his mind with me. You bought me, like no one has ever had me. I'm yours. You can do anything with me. Take me any place. Don't give me to someone else. Keep me. I'll get us back. No, you won't. I'll get out, Robbie. I can get away from anyone, except you. Right now, keep me. Because no one, Robbie, has been able to hold on to me. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Yeah, you'll see. I can get out of anything. Because in the end, I can get anybody to do what I want. Get it! 
Take her for a ride. Buy her a root beer. I'll call you when I want it back. Yeah, you'll get it back. Don't worry. He can take it. He can take almost anything. Who's he? His name is Locus. He's a cab driver. He doesn't pick up any fares. He's a tailman. He follows people. I work with him a lot. I need a fix. Tonight, kiddo, you are gonna fly. She'll get your partner. Maybe she already has. She can do anything. I just want you to get lost. <laughs> to get you. Completely lost. <laughs> and didn't work. No one can protect me. No pimp, no John, no cop. Nothing. There's nothing in the world safe for me. There's got to be some place. You think of tonight as a new beginning. From now on, the world is safe. Hey, hey, you're a cop. You're supposed to protect me. She got you to help her kill me. You the best advice? You still don't really know what she is. So don't tell me the world is safe. Don't tell me anything is safe. Take it. Take it if you want. I'm not a thief. Sorry for you. Where's your ticket, Wits? I just got the job on my pager. You know, I'm on call. <laughs> He's a hitman on call. It's like delivering pizzas. <laughs> Place my order. Hey, I tell you what, my reputation in this business is done. Before I make you disappear. Who would hire you to kill a cop? Another cop? <laughs> what an opportunity, huh? I mean, on the unwritten resume of Hitman, my first real job, and I, I kill a cop for a cop. What cop? What cop would hire you, Colt? The cop that knows where you are. The only cop that knows what you're doing. Your partner. She gets everybody. She's not getting anyone. Not tonight. <laughs> Come on! Ever sneak into a drive-in, cool? Not lately. Time to relive old memories. Oh, no. Sayonara. Hey, what about your luggage? Find a circus, put them in with the giraffes. Take a train someplace, get there, you hop a bus to another city, 
buy a car, drive somewhere else, disappear, keep moving, pick a name from a graveyard. Come with me, you don't have a chance. I can't. You have no idea the price you're going to pay. Look, the bullet train leaves in an hour and you are going to be on it. I just wish you'd come with me. I can handle her. She's a genius. My father made over 50 million in his life. She took him apart slowly, like a watch. It was amazing, until he begged her to put him back together. And that's when she killed him. How'd she do it, Billy? She packed his bags, put him in the trunk of his car. When he went to the airport, a car blew up. He found his right hand in the runway. It was a 10-second switch, the kind professionals use. Liar. She told me he died in bed. There's only one reason she didn't kill me at the same time. And what is that, Billy? I wasn't 18 yet. She has this crazy thing. And she'll go to hell if she kills a minor. So I got the hell out of there a month before my birthday. Billy, no one is going to kill you tonight. I'm going to the bathroom. Make it quick. I'm just call and dial a prayer. Lawrence, it's Robbie. Just dreaming about you, Robbie. You were in a dark lake. Oh, you were dark yourself. Yeah, I'm in here, brother. Come home now, Robbie. You're lost. I'm the other side of you. The side you don't know. I'll be back soon, Lawrence. No. Now, I can feel it. Please, I never ask you to help yourself. I bit you with. She's not right. You're the one making her right. Without you, Robbie, there is no Lawrence. I know you believe that. Believe this. You always said I was your shadow. Yeah. There's blood on your shadow tonight. Shadows of blood. That's all we are. What do you want? Hey, I'm someone who shares with people. I was just wondering if I could use it after you're done. Sure. So, are uh, you feeling lucky, huh? Isn't it great to get what you want? It's not your fault. No one could have done more. I want to count one gun from you, Robbie. Jeanette, how did she get you? She hired me the day before you. She hired you? She wasn't sure about you, Robbie. She knew you could find the kid, but didn't think you could kill her. But she took the hook. Robbie, I'm not strong enough to resist corruption, but I am strong enough to fight for a big piece of it. You're killing the dog for fucking. Oh, Robbie, please. I've been covering your ass for years. You know? You know, she's just another dead body, another little sister dead. But 
when I was pulling the shots, we were the good guys, Jeanette. You know what your problem is, Ronnie? You love all the things you're trying to stop. Sex, your brother, vice. You're always trying to stop him. You know you love him. You know you fucking love him. I didn't do this. Not any of this, Jeanette. You rehearsed long enough, Robbie, and you got to play the part. You look like your head is going to come to a point in the next 10 seconds. Get in the car, Robbie. You're in or you're out. You're not gonna stay around telling stories. You guys again? We're your magic friends. The pop-ups, remember? The boys showed up and decided to give us some help. It's our job. We didn't let the lady dirty their hands. What are they doing for us now? A lot. Let Janet tell you. Yeah, tell us, Janet. Give us a scoop, Janet. That'll be easy. Yeah. You got a bloody mouth, Janet. I'm just hungry. Those guys were too polite. Time to get Jim and Joe out of here. I'll do it. They're gonna be visiting the boys from the cathedral. Thanks, honey. It's not just Billy eating a few bullets that bothers you. Is it, Bobby? No, it isn't. It's what she told me. What you didn't. Is it true? My eyes don't know what color they want to be. No. No. Why didn't you take it all back at the hotel? Why did you stop, Robbie? Sheila, I just want to know one thing. So do I. Tell me, what is going to kill us, Robbie? Do we have a chance right now here in this world to get to another world? What world, sir? A better world. One where we can be what we really are. Those little boys. I feel like a wicked stepmother. And now it's time we all get out. going to go fly. We'll never ever have to come back. Our plane is here. Uh, give me a minute inside. Get the bags in the trunk and we're gone. Should I give him back his gun? Sure. No one's afraid of him anymore. Stella. Come on, Stella. Don't walk away from me like I was a big dog. What the hell do you mean? If I knew what everything I said meant, I'd be a genius. I don't believe you, Robbie. I'm not cool. You're cool. Sella. If it's true, I mean, if you tell me it's true, then we'll find a way. People like you say that. 
And they never find a way. I can change. I swear. God's eyes are darker than yours, Robbie. Even darker. Before we can go on, Selda, we have to settle this. I've seen him. He's more dark than you. Are you killing him when you saw that? You already do. Don't go back to the car. Just wait right here for me. Be a good boy. Sella, no matter how dark it gets, no matter how dark it is, I can handle it. Big wild travel. Promise me you'll stay right here. You will get it all. happened to the pilot? <laughs> Threw him off the plane during our first lesson. You know me, I have to be creative. My mother always said I should be on the mantle. Lance, if you fell off your ego, you would kill yourself. <laughs> but we still have work to do. Time to take those little green toys and run away. Oh no, Jeanette, we're not going anywhere. Nowhere at all. What are you going to do, shoot me? Nope, I can't stop anyone. It's one thing I've learned, though. Robbie, just take the ride and forget the lesson. No, Jeanette. The lesson is... she gets everybody. Phew! That went big time. Lance, do your best. Get the plane ready. I have one more thing to do. That's what I like about you, baby. You never practice. You always play. What is there left for you to do? I'm going to make sure you don't kill yourself. Special goodbye? I did it my own way, Lance. That's always best. How'd you get him anyway? I have a way of picking men. How's that? Best killer I've ever seen. No rules. None. And why didn't she finish? She's too smart to kill the whole audience. 